Hey! How you guys doing? I was just packing up my suitcase and I thought, why don't I make a video of this so that we can pack and have a little chat together and I can show you what my um, travel essentials are, so I guess what my most important items are and what I just can't live without. Wait, wait, wait. Leave me a comment guessing where you think I'm going to be traveling to. So yeah, um, I'm going to go through my most important items, not everything, because it's getting late so I'm going to try and get through this as soon as possible. It's after 11, so yeah, I'm going to try not to ramble on, although we all know how much I love to talk. First of all, my favorite scent, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is my favorite perfume. I've worn it for so many years and it's the only one I wear. It's the one I wear... <coughs> my voice just cracked. It's the one I wear every day. Love this and yeah, gotta have this. And this I talked about in my last video, so I'm not gonna go into it. It's my favorite contour kit. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette, the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. I think you guys have seen this many times in my vlogs too. Over here I just have like socks, a bunch of socks and like stockings. And then just random like hair accessories like elastics. And then hair wise, I gotta have this. Um, after I get out of the shower, this is how I... Oh, I'm scared of plastic thing. I'm sorry, it's okay. Let me save you. It won't hurt you, I swear. It's not gonna hurt you. Yeah, as soon as I get out of the shower, I use this to um, brush my hair because my hair is so fine and always knotted and this like helps to get all the knots out really easily without it hurting or ripping out my hair and I think that this really saved my a lot of my hair from falling out. So I go through my hair with this first while it's still wet and then I use a regular brush but this is really important. If you haven't tried one of these, you definitely should because these, these are a lifesaver for your hair. Shampoo and conditioner, the one I'm using right now is the Kiehl's Sunflower Color Preserving ones. This is the shampoo. It has apricot oil, vitamins B3, B5, and B6. Um, and also sunflower obviously and this is the hair mask and the hair mask I just like my just like I mentioned in my beauty favorites video um, I'll also link that one I just use a bit of this and I put it on my ends here down and then I do everything else in the shower and then I rinse it out last these are what I'm using now and then of course this I have to have this for my hair. It's the spray I spray all over after I get out of the shower. So these are like my definite hair essentials. And then I just have my regular brush. This one's a mix of like a hard plastic bristle and those like soft ones. I don't know if you can really tell. Now that I'm looking at a brush, this reminds me of a funny story. Well, actually it's kind of a gross story. But last time when I was traveling and staying in a hotel, when I came home one night, um, I always like will clean out my brush, clean out the hair, and anyways, like I know my hair, my hair is blonde, but I found all these like black hairs inside my brush. So that means that the lady that was cleaning my room had used my brush. That is so gross. And if she used my brush, then who knows what else she used, right? Yeah. Did anything like that ever happen to you guys in a hotel or did anything strange or like gross or like really rude ever happen to you guys? Let me know in the comments. That's probably the only bad experience or kind of gross or disappointing experience that I've ever had. It's been pretty good so far, but that was, I was kind of like, why, why, why would you do that? I just got this bag at Forever 21. It was quite cheap from what I remember. It's a rose gold color, which I love. And inside I have all my skincare. My skincare essentials include my Bioderma, which I talked about in my last video. I got a little travel size. And then my cleanser, which is still the same, Cetaphil. And my face lotion, which is also Cetaphil still. And then I just have like these cotton things in here for like makeup removal and Q-tips. And oh, just a small lens cleaner for my contact lenses. And then also my favorite uh, sunscreen which is the All Blanc Medicated Day Emulsion 2 by Sophina. It goes on super thin and it's not like sticky or anything. It's really, really good and it's SPF 50. So these are all my favorite and must have skincare things. I don't like bringing too much because they're super heavy. So these are just like really, really what I need. And makeup. The mascara I've been wearing and loving lately is this one. It's the Lancome Grandoise 
smudge proof. Bottle is so pretty and and the shape of the wand is really good for getting those outer eyelashes. So I finally moved on from my Lancome um, Precious Cell, Virtuous Precious Cells one to this one. And yeah, it took me a long time. I was super loyal to the other one, but I'm starting to like this one better. My setting powder is by Makeup Forever. It's the HD High Definition Powder. I've been using this one for like three or four years now I think. It's super fine and it's translucent and it sets your makeup really well without making your skin look too dry or anything like that, too cakey. This is my foundation which you guys already know, the NARS Sheer Glow. My eyeliner is this one by Makeup Forever, the Aqua Cream Liner um, in the black color. And lip lines, the colors that I must have is one sort of nudie pink and this is edge to edge one brown color and this is boldly bare that's the one that i have on right now and a red color in he said she said and these are all mac and the lipsticks are also mac um, the one that i use right now is kind of sexy it's like a brownish nude color so that goes with the brown one and then with the pinkish Lip liner, I use Please Me, pinkish, and then this is kind of in the middle, like a pinkish brownish color, and this one is Pure Power, again all by MAC. I don't know, I just really like the consistency of MAC with liner, and they have so many colors to choose from, so yeah. Alright, ooh, these are my pajamas. How cute are these? I bought these on ASOS, ASOS? ASOS.com and it's a little t-shirt and shorts and they have unicorns on them and spaceships and everything. Maybe I should just put them on and show you guys. There we go. Aren't they so cute? Okay. Oh. This is my bikini. This is from Triangle. Yeah, I really love dark green lately um, and I love Triangle because this is actually the first time I bought it from them but I'm really impressed because the material is like, I don't know how to describe it. If you own one of these bathing suits you don't know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's like, first of all there's no underwire here and there's no padding whatsoever so it's super comfortable but the way the material like holds together and like, I don't know, it just gives like a lot of support and it feels so cool. And these are the little cheeky bottoms. They're quite tiny and show a lot of the bum cheek. Actually, I was looking on Victoria's Secret for a new bikini because I usually order one on there, but this one was actually a little bit cheaper than that and I think the quality is so much better. It comes with this little bag too. And so yeah, if you're looking for a new bikini, check out their website because their bikinis are so, so pretty and um, quite reasonably priced for really good quality. Oh, I'm also taking my skipping rope so that I can work out. There's definitely not enough room to bring like curling or straightener, like many, many things. So I'm just gonna bring my straightener. A straightener can actually curl your hair too, so this one is kind of multifunctional and it, a straightener is definitely necessary for me for my bangs. So this one is the chosen one and it's so used and worn, I can even see what it is. It's the Babeless Pro. I don't know. I've had it so long. I bought it in Hong Kong. You can still see that there's a Hong Kong plug. But I just haven't been able to find anything that matches it here in Tokyo because it gets to like 210 degrees and it works so well on my hair. So I'm actually using like an adapter plug to make this work here because I just can't change it. And then everything else in here is like clothes, bags, and shoes. So if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, you can see what I'm wearing and what I'm getting up to on a daily basis. Um, actually, do you guys want an outfit video or like um, a style lookbook kind of thing? Maybe I can make that if you guys are interested in that um, for spring or something like that. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would want to see. Lastly, for my carry-on, my essentials are big, fluffy, cozy, warm pajamas because Planes are so, so, so cold. Like, even if I ask for two blankets, I'm still not warm enough. I don't feel cozy. So I just love throwing on these and yeah, it just makes my life so much better. Oh, face mask. When I have long flights, I like to do a face mask because my skin feels so dry and like tight. 
And my go-to face mask, which has been this for a while now, is the SK21 um, facial treatment mask. It's super hydrating and just makes my skin feel good and healthy and glowing. So I like to do this in the air. It's a paper mask, so it's easy to put on and just remove no mess or anything. My iPad, which I'm going to fill up with um, a drama that I just started watching now, and that's the OJ Simpson People vs. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story. I really, really love crime um, dramas or documentaries or anything like that. And I just watched Making a Murder not too long ago, like a couple weeks ago or something, and I couldn't stop watching it. I watched it like for three days in a row until I finished it. So I absolutely love that one. And now people are starting to talk about this one. So I just watched one episode and I'm going to save the rest for the plane. And then lastly, like my face, my hands get dry, my lips are so dry. So I'm packing this lip balm. It's from Tony Moly. It smells like cherries. And it is a cute little cherry. So cute to just pop in your bag. And then this is hand cream. It's banana flavored. And it really smells like bananas. I'm gonna smell like a fruit basket. Cherries and bananas. It smells so good. So that's all I have to show you, I think. I have a few more things to pack, like my underwear and bras and that sort of stuff that you guys wouldn't want to see. And the stuff I need to use in the morning, like toothbrush or... I don't know. Oh, and also, of course, I have to have my phone to listen to music and for the notepad because in the plane, I have the best ideas ever. I don't know, I just really love flying because um, like, there's no internet or anything and your phone doesn't work so like, no one can communicate with you and you're just by yourself in your own thoughts and doing what you want to do. So yeah, I like to... I don't, it's the place that I really have the best ideas. So I love to have my notes ready because I just like jot a lot of things down and I do a lot of thinking and just relaxing. I don't know, I love flying. <laughs> Leave me a comment to guess where I'm going. Also let me know what your travel essentials are so that I can check and make sure that I didn't forget anything. And of course, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you and I will see you in my next video when I'm in. See you later. I'm so excited though. I really, really, really love traveling. If there was one place in the world that you could travel to, where would you want to go? We can go straight to sleep like this. Like a little sausage roll.